Yes, sir. Magic. I am. Stop playing with my boy. You already. That might be it. That might be it. Quick and easy. That might have been the quickest hairstyle. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Got the low top curly. I like the height though. I think. I think I. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. There it is. The dready dreads. Cornelius head ass. This would also be fire. I'm going with the, I'm going with the dread backs. There's nothing you could do to change my mind. I don't care how many R's are in the chat. This would be fire too. Nah, that's speaking to me though. That's speaking to the writer about a snobby. snobby there it is there it is Nobody's Who did the left eye though? Cause that's my that's more likely to hide. Okay, go take my right. I guess that's his right eye. Ooh, so it would be this one. There it is. That's what's gonna be. We're sticking with. I can't say no to it.
the pointiest of eyebrows. Not the uni representation at its finest. Unibrow. Unibrow. I'm good on it. Smug. <clears throat> a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be. That was quite something. Awkward, but okay. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. A few cobwebs and some dust. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Let's be Kozaya. Let's be Kozaya. I can't decide, but it's gonna be Kozaya. Nope, Kozari. Kozari with the rosary. Kozari. Smokement. Off to school! Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> <laughs> It's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must yeah. say I... Oh, he's smiling too much already. Here. I'm much you know that now. We've got that smiling on. Let's get a oh, more relaxed course. disposition if possible. Why don't we speak on route to Hogwarts? 
We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful well, idea. As long as your young for... charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see Ooh, the old the pile voice. of rocks. <laughs> I've seen plenty of dust. Fifth year and I don't know how to teleport? Why well, again? It's my fifth year and I don't know how to teleport? Lie again. Lie again. Port Key Games in the Wizarding World presents. They put PvP in this game, though. I'm coming for all y'all. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. Still a proper boy. You it know, indeed. mother and None father the haven't yet abandoned hope in me, and I haven't Hogwarts been beaten down late. by the troubles of the cruel world. Have I? So I still cross. As I still the other fifth years will have been honing prop, their magical prop, prop. skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a oh, remarkably shucks. intuitive and gifted wizard. You, you Mr. Osbrook is prone wizard, to flattery. So, you know. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the ministry. <laughs> oh, he's a kid. This? He's a butt kisser. I have. Opinions differ. Red Rock, I Ragnarok. Really rock. Threat, I got lazy there, really but it's okay. Is. We'll ignore it. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, Eleazar. who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I... Received right this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. To keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Ah, it was a dragon. Oh, God. He's good at you know magic because these ministry guys generally aren't. If you pay attention to the uh, well, at least from what I've seen, they're not really that good at anybody in the ministry except for the Weasleys and the uh, Oracles. Oracles are real, but the rest of these ministry are guys. Nice. So you can't teleport over there? Exactly what I was expecting. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. 
take your landing. It's Wigan well. It sucked. That stuff will write you in a second. But like Oh. And what you gave happened? me three more. Bless up. Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid air? You really think he did, bro? A typical dragon would never. Professor? Or... A typical so... dragon. Come on. What you need airspace? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Oh, that wasn't you? I'm feeling better, sir, if you like to look around a bit. I would. How about 50 over no one? Stay close. I guess we just lost all our shit. We've no idea who created this port key. Oh, man. Or why. I can't wait to change clothes. Hold on. Can I do that now? Hit start. Clicks touch bad. The answer is no. I cannot. I said deal with it. Take us farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. However faded it may be. Mind your step. Can we go faster, teacher? Why do you or will your legs break? I've got the port key that brought us here. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! than I'd expected. Thank you. Call me the spell hunter. Ah, up there. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, teach. 
We're close now. It's just ahead. I blast all but him. Come on, son. Look at the finesse. <laughs> Steady yourself. their privacy that port key led us here for a reason let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place professor it's a mural of some kind Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. There's a strong possibility he lived here. Who is he? Who are we? This that is before the great Dumbledore. But what yeah, could it amazing. be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Before I bar bust any professor, you wanna take a wanna take a look here? I'll go there. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Green, green dots. Hello? Those are you smoke men. Just a moment. Don't get off. Ooh. Uh, <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. Mm. After you. I can't wait to change my clothes. That's your boy looking basic. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> How many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, 
You'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That oh. all washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. Yeah, it resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Settle in. We got a distance. Let's see. <laughs> Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. wondering about that goblin back right there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. Everything's very different and very unusual. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. <laughs> In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Mysterious. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. I see you get the cutscene and I don't. Come on, man. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Rebellion. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? Mm. I do. 
But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. See something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? Mm. I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. There must be something to that reflection you're seeing. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Lumos, where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. where they're leading me. I glow again.
Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. did you? What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge. 
and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. Saint horse. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now... Where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Wholly and totally. Where are we? I wasn't we? Cheerios. <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. 
already know we I'm haven't missed the wall. sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Of course. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas Nigellus Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. Uh... You're just in time. Have a seat. There's a Miss Weasley. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. His first choice for me is Slytherin House. I'll take it. You belong in Slytherin. Slytherin. And one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. 
I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Looks like I was wrong. I no, said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. My estimation, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Yeah, yes, teacher. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. Do you have I shall Cheerios? be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Want some Cheerios? Class. Do you have Cheerios? Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Do you have Cheerios? Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. I suppose some introductions are in order. Sorting ceremony last night. Can't imagine starting a new school this late. A little room, everyone. Let them through. Haters gonna hate y'all. I'm sorry about the fireplace. He look cozy. Oh. That is not helpful. I got me Can some I Cheerios. They didn't have any in the dorm room, oh. so I had to go to the kitchen. You're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. How'd you know? It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Oh, Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. 
What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. I'm just trying to get rid of me. The whole conversation he's trying to get rid of me. And I'm just asking questions like, what's up? Oh yeah? He was trying to get rid of me though, but he won't. I'm just curious. If you do that, you'll lose. Trust me. Do I get to play wizard chess in this game? I'd be great. Ugh, not going to move there, to are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Told you. Mm -hmm. You should have listened to me. Ah, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. I I think I heard one. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days. Are you gone? Though I doubt you'll need it. You got a little eye problem? Why aren't you looking at me? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. Oh, you're at me now. Is it is fun to play along, though. I've been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Right. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. No no Is the face. new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. 
After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up! Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue? Revelio. And see what details the field guide can provide. isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Broomsticks are going out of style, I think. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the well, Dark so Arts, as the name yeah. implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. 
Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Heckert in charge of our students' education in that regard. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil? Professor Fig, your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, oh, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls.
that's cute. good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cost. deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise go. Now, the basic cast. Well done. Levioso. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Protego. Stupid one. Levioso. Good form. I know. Be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick runner. There you go. Let me know what you see. If only all of my students would have suggested. I do enjoy a lively duel. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot. And you rose to the challenge. Don't have to do Points it again. to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. 
glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough bam, spectacle for bam, one day. Bam, bam, Class bam. is dismissed. Huh, always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. You drooled Sabath. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. How nice to see you, my young friend. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. Revelio will have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Oh, 
time I started. This is time for her. Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Oh. Thank you. So, so, so. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new Nettie. student. <laughs> Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, of everyone, please open your textbooks challenge. to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the Color change and growth charms. Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you? Even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm. Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Accio, now uh, think of this like excellent control there. Not to worry. That's it! Stay focused. Very good! Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Here we go! Very good. 
good. Let us see this. That is how it's done. Son, I'm the wizard. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I'm the wizard. Oh, well. I'm the wizard. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. This of you. Well done. Mm. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at halfway a new school in a new country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. 
Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. A you word can use if you would. on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you, you wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I you trust your well first you. charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't Mrs. exactly Crusty. the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Whoa. I'm a Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're oh, yeah. the student everyone's been whispering about. Possibly. Hope your first day is going well. Yeah, you certainly worry. seem to hold your own in charms. That was nice. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble well, and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry. I thought about transferring to both back and then. Who's the a kitty cat? Is he a friendly cat? Where were you? He's a goblin rebellion of the Peter. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Peter. Oh, no, I won't ignore you either. Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boo, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack. But Rebellion. you're all in trouble with Professor Black. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are.
I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In extra fact, homework. Professor Ronan Nobody will meet you outside it. momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirable. I just closed my eyes and pick her inside. I should have A rather the unsavory right local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Butterbeer. I'll get my assignment after I'll get my stuff. Off on another adventure, are we? Yes, ma'am. Protego! Oh, I guess I want to be able to get this first. Ah. Oh. So many cats all over the place. Ah, there you are. <laughs> you have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is.
Revelio. Flying page must be around here somewhere. Revelio. I trust the preliminary tasks. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Mm -hmm. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Mm -hmm. Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue Prepare. in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Rebellion. Revelio. Akio.
Revelion. Fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Be well, shall. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Oh, oh man. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. It's awful if you're fattening someone in their face. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might yeah. have saved me from one. You're welcome, buddy. Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? You are gonna be well, dog. I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh. Just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. Move, Gryffindor. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest, look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Like we already made. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, you can see hogs we <laughs> past those ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. <sighs> Most notably, that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mm. 
Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me. Eyes big as saucers. Big as saucers. Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Akio! Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. <laughs> Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, Come on, bruh. Uh, mm. <clears throat> Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. Curious indeed. How intriguing. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Hmm, a unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. Ah, phoenix feather, exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. What do you think? Extraordinary. 
<laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts, Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. No more. Yeah, move my head. Sorry, I'll be a young student. Find myself scurrying home with my business.
welcome to Jay Pippin's potions. Potato. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? No, right. But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I bust my head open. Revelio. Sneaky chest. Oh, sorry, on the railway. <laughs> well, hello there. I want to trust the shop key that sits outside the shop. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? No, I'm I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Hey, Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian.
Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madam Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly. Why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? I'm not sure what you mean, but I'm quite all right as I am. Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. I should be going now. Thank you. Thank you. Revelio. banned underage sorcery. Can't trust the young. Rebellion. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Let's 
Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. No. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. We don't care, officer. Rebellion. Oh, Repair uh, uh, A moment if you would. I'll go and see what he wants. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Yes, the hill was just singing your praises. Boo, 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 boo. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time.
I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be Most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. I'm just trying to go drink my butter beer. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. Mm. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd see him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Boy, Serona. Yeah, the cozy magician. Yes, sir. Now, what can I... Oh. Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other Butter shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... <sighs> trolls. In Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Everything's happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are. Oh, oh. oh timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. No. I'm not here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps, Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. I can't. You're right. Can you go give me a 
broomstick. It's the only thing I haven't gotten from you. Seems yet. you've made an unfortunate That's enemy. That's the only thing I need. What's your my back? Room? Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Let me walk back to Hogwarts. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Hmm. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Stepped out. We must have waited a little bit. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Hogsmeade is the only ball with a Rebellion! I think we'll stay close to the castle. I suppose I'm not. Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend.
Rebellio. Rebellion. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Brumsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. A restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Should we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well, but... If our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Yeah, Perhaps we are book, only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, oh, come nice. and see me. Don't sleep when we teach. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. Don't sleep on the teach, that's all I'm saying, but I'll do it. Don't sleep on me, teach. Welcome to the welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Predicament. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Nope. Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. So then why am I talking to you? Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Dollars. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, mm -hmm. it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. 
And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Oh, Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Good luck. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Kind of game. No, no, no. Revelio. Revelio. Ah, I believe we have. Some... I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire making spell, Yay. handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs. And, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds uh, versatile. What? Hey. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Yay! You know where to find me once you've finished. Seems crossed ones isn't as secret as it's believed to be. I cross ones. Look at me run. Yay! Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. Oh, but he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges, be oh, handsome indeed, goes. or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim. Wee! I'll get you for this. Oh, yeah, it's out of the box. You should just go up your books, buddy. Yeah, go get the books. Yeah, nerd. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was late to each other. Peace to those bully me again. Glad you could make it. Make it. Lucan's just over there. Revelio. Value. Can I help you? Pretty good. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. That's good. I coordinated duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. The right How does crossed ones work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end, wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And, to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. 
interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you can duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Ready. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. In fact, the second duel is ready when you are. And as a fully initiated member, you now have access to the official Cross Corners training dummy. Very good way to master spell combinations. Come and see me and I'll set it up. Again, congratulations on your first Cross Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. Maybe too. I'll give it another go. Glad to hear it. They'll lose this one. Let me go. Stupid one. Accio. Let me go. Stupid one. Lumos. Find the one. 
Infinite. Accio. rest for a bit very well we'll be waiting when you're ready Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. That's I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? Actually, I might come back later. Suit yourself. I'll be around when you're ready. Sorry, right. come back. Glad you're back. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Cross Wands all set? Why, Cross yes, Wands! It is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready to redeem yourself? I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Sebastian. Oh, you get Sebastian. Then let's get to it. Now bring out the now bring out the black girl. Ready to get thrashed? Shut it down. Apologies in advance. Gave it my all. You did indeed. Yeah, did. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. They can have You'd better keep they practicing want. if you want a chance of winning, <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. Do you have her gobstones, little boy? Hello, Lucan. I'm ready for practice. Glad you're keeping at it. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Accio! Nicely done. Let me open. Accio. Good one. I'd 
So that's enough practice. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice lot, than during Lucan. a duel. You say You'll lot, be a fearsome God. challenger now. Assignment's all finished. Perhaps I should stick to potions. Seems I'm out of the tournament thanks to you. You're welcome. What are you up to? understand my castle parts off on another adventure are we Revelio. I trust mr. Bradley was able to accommodate you and that you found your endeavors I finished all of the tasks you gave me professor Hackett glad to hear it then you should be ready to learn incendio should be professor Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate. And keep your wand steady. Good work.
Levioso. Incendio. Accio. That is where I will be for now. I don't want this game so much. I can't wait to catch y'all later. You know what I'm doing.